fellas. Lucky, lucky fellas getting all of this activity so quickly. Very lucky indeed. Hello, everybody. Today, I'll be reacting to Mindseed while they go to a haunted plantation. I love Mindseed. They do some of the greatest YouTube horror movies you're going to find. Grab your popcorn, turn out the lights, and enjoy today's episode as you go side by side with us on another horrifying haunted location. Oh, baby, yeah. We're approaching Halloween. I love a good horror movie with the... Sorry, what? Oh, what was that? Mindseed say they're real. No, no. They they really do? I don't know what they do. Mindsee claim that it's all real. I don't, I don't know. Excuse me, what, what was that? Mindseed are not an entertainment channel. It's all fake news. Fake news. But seriously, if Mindsee stopped trying to pretend all of this was real, their channel would be next level. I don't have to watch every horror movie thinking it's real to be scared. Every Mindseed episode could be amazing if they just went off the rails and did whatever they wanted to do without trying to keep things within the realms of reality. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I put a vote out to my awesome members and patrons on who I should react to next. Out of Yasko, Mosaji, and Mindseed, well, you can clearly see who won the vote. I do these votes regularly, and if you want to have a say and get involved with who I react to next, please consider becoming a member or signing up to my Patreon. The link is in the description. It was a dark and stormy night in New Orleans, Louisiana, as we sat in a rental car outside of a haunted plantation. We decided to live stream this night from the car to say hello to our viewers before entering the home. We just pulled up to a uh, location. A live stream on location is a great idea for your fans, but maybe you might want to update the description, fellas. This plantation has been claimed for a very long time to be haunted. Many people now rent it out for weddings and parties, but many of the guests leave with strange stories to tell. People claim to hear phantom voices, knocks, footsteps, and even being touched by something that cannot be seen after dark. Tonight, Colton and I will be staying until sunup to see if we can capture any experiences of our own. Some of the things that happened during our stay here will leave you shaken. First of all, can we address the elephant in the room here? In the title, you say this building is a plantation and it's in Louisiana, just outside of New Orleans. But at no point do you explain who or what is supposed to be haunting this place. Are they sl or owners. Am I the only person who thinks this is critical information that we, the audience, need to know before watching this video? I don't know whether to hate these ghosts or to sympathize with these ghosts. We're not even told the name of the property, only that it hosts weddings and parties. And with the glowing review Mindsee give this venue, maybe it's a good thing that we don't know the location. It's just me or does it have that old, like, it smells like dusty mildew? For weddings and parties, dusty mildew. Weddings and parties, dusty mildew. Gross, 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 gross. I'm not even sure we're in the New Orleans area here. We know the date they did this investigation because of the live stream I mentioned earlier. The investigation happened on April 22nd, 2023. So I went on a few websites that record weather by date. New Orleans on the 22nd of April, 2023 was a sunny day and a clear night. No storms or rain in the area at all. I also find it strange that since this is supposed to be a wedding venue that I cannot find the website anywhere. Usually, wedding venues want to be found for obvious reasons. Now, of course, I don't know the name of this venue, and that makes it harder to find. But I spent a considerable amount of time searching for venues across the state of Louisiana, and nothing came up. Which brings me to my next point. I'm English, so obviously I'm not an expert on American architecture. But a quick Google search shows me this property looks nothing like a typical southern plantation. Of course, all of this is speculation, but it does make me wonder why Mindseed is so vague about this property, its location, and its history. I have my theories, but I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments. All right then, let's dive into the video. What the... Am I turning? Oh no, not this guy. As I'm sure many of you are aware, there is a channel that reacts to many of Mindseed's videos. And this channel 
is caspersite. Now, believe it or not, I've actually had people ask me if I am caspersite. Let me assure you, dear viewer, I am definitely not caspersite. We may have similar accents and we both react to the paranormal, Admittedly, he's been doing it far longer than me, but his energy, I'm just too old and grumpy for that. Ladies and gentlemen, how the devil are you, mate? And welcome to Casper Sight. Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called Mindseed. What's going on here, mate? Oh, a scary doll there. Oh, look at that spider. No, get that away from me. Oh, you know, oh, dolls. They're scary, aren't they, mate? Oh, it's all changing color now. It's all kicking off, isn't it, mate? Oh, what? what's that about? Oh, the spider's going the other direction. Oh, look, waves, waves and sea and stuff. Oh, Screaming, screaming eyes. Ah! Oh, God. Well, that was exhausting. Over the years, we've kind of just grown accustomed to whatever powers that be delivering us the most optimal conditions. And I'm telling you, like, we even talk about it sometimes. We're like, what are the chances? What are the chances? That we show up and the atmosphere gets supercharged with the lightning storm. That's centralized above the location that we're going to investigate. I've been through this in my paranormal nightmare video. If you think the weather is changing because you are at a location that is effectively causing the weather to change, then this is affecting the whole planet as the weather in any given location has a ripple effect for the rest of the world. And I'm not buying it. Also, how can ghosts change the weather? I don't believe in demons, but I do understand for those who do believe in demons that they have supernatural powers that you could say may well change the elements and the weather. But a ghost, a ghost is just a person who died and their spirit is remaining, right? So how can they possess the power to change the weather? Did Storm die in this plantation? Is this house haunted by X-Men Storm? And if so, I'd love to see her kick the ass off the boners. My guess is Mindseed hold off from visiting any location till a storm actually arrives. They probably have the place hide for a week or two, knowing it's storm season and just wait for a storm to hit. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside this house and we're going to snap a Polaroid in every room and then we're going to leave the photos to develop on the kitchen table and see if we get anything strange inside this house. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I don't understand how a Polaroid snapshot would pick anything up that filming with a high def camera wouldn't. We all know each movement is recording through individual photographs in frames. When played at a certain speed, the photographs produce moving images. So why would a one frame photograph capture something that a recording of thousand frames wouldn't? If anything, the probability of catching something with just one frame next to equipment that can record thousands of frames is slim to nil. Wow, that, that makes so much sense. <laughs> Smells weird in here. <laughs> so we found that it does kind of help when we take Polaroids at different locations. They print really quickly, they develop really quickly, and for some reason we've been able to capture these strange anomalies in these photographs and it's really cool when you see it printed out right at the time and you capture something strange. So we wanted to make sure that we went around the entire location and photographed as much as we could during our initial walkthrough. Mindsee doing this Polaroid thing makes little to no sense until you remember great horror movie scenes like this. I heard that. You hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. What was that? Allow me to get something off my chest here. Is this thing on? I don't call myself a debunker, but I'm well aware others do, and my channel is strongly associated in the debunking circles. These knocks are a prime example why I could never identify as a debunker, because I cannot prove these bangs are not mindseed. 
I suppose nobody can really prove that unless you are there with them at the time of filming in that location. Being a debunker is a very tough job to have proof that these ghost hunters are faking. I don't believe these knocks are the house settling in because the knocks are to a rhythm. So if we use common sense here and ask ourselves, what is more likely? Are these knocks coming from a ghost or are mind see creating these knocks? I know where common sense will lead me. I'm gonna go upstairs, you wanna follow me up? Yeah. You want to follow me up? Yeah. You want to follow me up? Yeah. Whispers. 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 So there's not just knocks, but now there's whispers and running footsteps when they go up the stairs. But I can't really be bothered to include all that because, you know, who gives a shit at this point? At the end of the day, all we need to know is there's loads of activity happening in this house with the guys only being there for about five minutes. Lucky fellas. Lucky, lucky fellas getting all of this activity so quickly. Very lucky indeed. If you were just making a noise up here, could you please do it again? Let us know that you're here. Hello. I'm behind the bed, don't you know? Let's go lay these on the table real okay, quick. Yeah. Which one's that? Okay, that's one of the bedrooms. Bro, is there a crow in that room? What? Look, that right there. Is that a crow? What the fuck is that? Oh, hey, Casey. <laughs> a crow here. I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> you know, I am getting pretty popular. Just a little wisp in This there. one right here is like the most... Is that this room right over here? Is it this downstairs one? Or was that upstairs? There was just like a white dot. It was almost like a floating orb in one of the rooms. My first thought was, is that something in the room? Like, is that like a lampshade or something? Because the Polaroids were kind of dark and hard to see. Another reason I can't take Polaroid snapshots seriously is how easy they are to manipulate. If this is an orb, and orbs are bullshit by the way, then why don't these orbs show on the cameras they're using to film? Since they were being pointed in the exact same direction the Polaroid cameras were being used. Dude, that is clear as day. It's like a fucking orb or something. Yeah, it is a whore. All we believe is that you just spewed a bunch of nonsense. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Welcome to Casper like Sight. Ladies and gentlemen, how the devil are you, mate? And all that stuff. How you doing, mate? Uh, how's your father? So we got the Mind Seed boys here, mate. Just walking around. What am I playing? Phasmophobia here? Yeah, mate. Phasmophobia. That's what I said, mate. Wandering around some more. Look at that shadow there as well, mate. Yeah, mate. I mean, I've got to try and say something here because I've always got to say something. Like and subscribe, mate. What's going on there, mate? The lights aren't moving anywhere, mate. Oh, there's a lovely bed there, mate. I just like to take a little lie down, have a little snooze because I can't keep up this energy for much longer. Did you see it? Yeah. Look, look, look. Yeah. Look. See it? Yeah. Ooh, pretty colors. Anything electronic can manipulate these EMF readers, and we cannot see what is behind it with this camera angle. They should be laid down on a hard surface with no one else around it, where nothing could be close by to make it spike or trigger it. This plant's making noise, bro. You don't hear it? No. Come stick your ear next to it. It's like ticking and shit. Watch. Stay there for a second. Whoa. Like someone's moving the branches, right? Are they wearing bulletproof vests? What ghost is haunting this place? Wired up? There's someone here that would like to communicate with us. Can you please come close to this device? Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, it just was hot, like hard. Look, look, look. And this is why I say the EMF reader should be placed on a hard surface where we can see nothing can interfere with it. It didn't spike when they were walking around the house with it in their hand, but the moment it's placed on a bed, it starts to spike. And for all we know, there could be a small electronic device underneath the covers where the EMF reader is placed. What's that saying? Sad. Sad? Depressed. Depressed. I'm sorry, I must have just zoned out there for a moment. Have you just started reading your comment section or something? It sounded like something I felt like a picture frame fell off the wall. Chills. Chills. It said sad, depressed, last thing, like it was going on. I missed the first word too. It's like it was here and then neither is this. It's like it was here and then the left. 
Now it's down there. Christ, is that an elephant coming down the stairs? I heard the second one. I didn't hear that for. Oh, look, bro. What? Look. There's a chair no. on the floor in there. We go downstairs and we see that a chair made of wrought iron has fallen over. and large furniture does not move on its own. It was either pushed, it was tipped over, something really, really strong, a really strong energy had something to do with manipulating the movement of that chair to cause it to fall. Like one or two fully grown men pulling the chair over? Just asking if that's a possibility. Like, are we even gonna entertain that as a theory or is that too out there? Too wild and crazy to even conceive. Oh yeah, let's do an SLS camera real quick. Oh no, not an SLS camera. It tracks the outlines of people and it basically draws a stick figure over a human body. The reason that people use SLS devices on ghost investigations is because they say that cameras could see things that your eyes cannot. And if the SLS detects something moving that's not there, it makes you kind of question, is there something in front of you that maybe you can't see yourself? These things are nonsense. The software is designed to detect physical humanoid shapes, so there's no way to validate if they can pick up anything invisible. The algorithms in the software is obviously not equipped to have any kind of ability to detect ghosts. They've been known to pick up lamps thinking it's a human. Only a right tit would believe this nonsense. Hi guys, hope you're all well. So tonight I've um, set the SLS camera up, the Kinect cam, the one with the stick figures. Um, I'm going to basically just sit down in um, front of the camera, say a pro, and that's it. I'm not going to interact with anything. I just want to see if anything comes around me. Wait, it's whoa, dancing, you see it? There's something down here making a weird rhythmic tapping noise. It sounds like someone's playing the drums right there. Dude. Okay, time out here for a moment. I'm not even halfway through the video and we've already had orbs, footsteps, banging, whispers, chairs being thrown around, a ghost appearing on an SLS camera, and now keyboards going off by themselves. And there's way more extreme stuff to come. You can like Mindseed, I actually like Mindseed, but you can't actually believe this stuff, can you? Does no one else think this is a little too perfect to continuously get this much activity this often? There is pushing your luck with being considered credible, and then there is Mindseed. I can't believe that even works. Sounds like a crap Porter's head demo to me. Anyway, they turn off the keyboard and carry on wandering around the house some more. We should do yes, no. We also have that new one. Yeah, we got the new device. It's got like a digital Ouija board in it, or I don't know how it works fully yet, but we could try it. So you got a new device with a built-in Ouija board, but you don't actually know how it works yet. Evidence of the paranormal doesn't get much more airtight than this, folks. Are you the one that said that you were depressed and sad earlier? Yeah, yeah, that would be me. Yeah. Maybe we stepped right off on the wrong foot. This is Casey, I'm Colton. We're not you. That scared the fuck out of me, bro. Dude, it's one in the morning right now. Hello? Hello? Yeah, no, I'm in, I'm in Hello? France. Yeah, I'm in France, yeah. No yeah, tell me about it, yeah. No, it's rubbish. Yeah, now I'll ring it back. No, they just hung up. It's weird though, right? Like, yeah. why call, so. like what? I mean, obviously they know we're here tonight, but like why call at one in the morning though? 
because it's not one in the morning in France, silly. Was that you that just uh, made the phone ring? Can you do it again, please? And maybe this time you could say something? What are the chances that whatever's down here try to bring us downstairs, because... It's too late again, bro. You just said yes. Which one of you idiots wrote this script? Yeah, bro. No. It just said that it made the Did phone ring. Here? No, bro. Hello? Hello? What? What? Hello? What? Bro, what is that? Listen. Hello? Hello? You're not joking! Sack him! Right, I'm coming back now! What the fuck was that? I don't know, dude. It sounded kind of demented. It sounded kind of demented. It sounded kind of demented. Do you have any intentions of harming us? Three times? Are you guys kidding me? If I do this same joke three times, people will start thinking I'm the one being lazy. But you guys are doing it three times. You know what? I'm not doing the same joke a third time. I'm just not. Let me try. All I was hearing was this frantic breathing. Frantic breathing. And it sounds like something out of a fucking horror movie. Hmm. Who even has a landline these days? That's the weirdest part of all of this for me. Now, I'm not saying by any means that that was the dead calling us from the other side. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is there are certain things in the paranormal investigation world that are too coincidental to be a coincidence, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes perfect sense. You're not saying these calls are coming from a ghost who somehow can pick up a telephone, but at the same time, you're not offering any other explanation, and you say it's too coincidental to be anything other than a ghost. Yeah, yeah, that makes uh, perfect sense to me. But anyway, motion detector. So let's turn it this way. And now it shouldn't make any noises because there's nothing passing it. But go ahead and try to walk past that stairwell call. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, great. Great. I mean, look, it's not doing anything right now. Mm -hmm. But if something passes, that's great. Great. Why don't we just sit in here and watch this for a second? Why don't you sit right there? I'll sit right here. Let's ask a couple questions, see if we get some come close. We don't sleep in all the places that we investigate, but this one, we decided we were gonna set up some static cameras and get a couple hours of sleep before the sun came up. Once we feel like the activity is running out and we're not really getting any more responses, I'm pretty much ready to fall asleep the second that my eyes close. Whatever criticism I have of Mindseed, making me fall asleep by boredom is definitely not one of them. Whether it's how they intended or not, these guys definitely entertain. Those of you that have watched my previous videos may be aware that I do love a good LinkedIn page, and Casey's does not disappoint. I am the creator and owner behind the YouTube channel Mindseed TV. The channel delivers creepy content for late night viewing, but also high quality product reviews for companies to advertise and market their products. Oh my god guys, this ghost is so scary, but looks kind of soft. Almost as soft as a Casper mattress. Casper mattress. We don't just engineer your best night's sleep, we dream it. Use promo code MINDSMEG for 15% off. That's MINDSMEG for 15% off your first Casper mattress. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and mind seed out the devil are ya? Did I hear you call my name? No, 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 I'm... I'm, we're, we're just doing an advertising joke. I don't know. No, just just no to all this. Let's, let's just drop this whole bit and get back on with the video here. Y yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah, no problem. And away we go. A 
Am I the only one who's starting to think the reason they wanted to stay there the night is just for an excuse for Colton to walk around with his shirt off? As I approach the bottom of the steps, I shit you not, I see a shadow walk past the upstairs window. Who or what, I do not know. How the devil are you, mate? I'm Casper Sight and all that bollocks. So what we got here then? Oh my god, mate! You know what, mate? That might have just been my Uncle Jim going for a cup of water at the middle of the night. No big deal, mate. Don't get scared. But my goodness, what was that, ladies and gentlemen? I'm proper scared. I don't know how much more of this impression I can take. I'll be perfectly honest. I've only kind of done it three times in little bits. I have no idea how Casper Sight can keep this energy up for a whole 30, 40 minute video. Well done, mate. Well done. Dude, I saw literally like it just looked like a figure pass in front of the light. I don't know, man. It's fucking. Anyone else finding that thing annoying? Dude, right in front of that fucking window. Please turn that thing off. Please turn that thing off. Can you please turn that thing off? Turn that fucking thing off! Bro, you gotta see what I just caught on this camera. I got the very last edge of it, I think. I'm not see. sure. Yeah, let me see what you got. Bro, check this out. When I saw what Colton had captured on his camera, I could clearly see a black figure. It looked like it was passing one of the upstairs windows. I love Mindseed. I mean, it's total nonsense, but I do love this channel. We've captured many things over the years that are unexplainable. And we know that there's people out there who try to dedicate their time to debunking us and proving that all this stuff is fake. But when you're there in person and you're experiencing this kind of stuff, um, it doesn't matter what anybody says. Because you have made the decision to make sure that nobody knows where it is. But all that aside, talk to real paranormal investigators who are known to not fake their investigations and ask them how often they get even 5% of the level of activity and evidence that Mindseed gets. I cannot prove or say that Mindseed are fake since I don't have the evidence to back that up. But Casey you got to understand why so many people struggle to buy this, right? The rest of the video, they talk about what Mind Seeds next season will bring, and then they do a montage of the current season we're in now, which is season five. So the investigation itself just kind of ends here. I haven't hidden the fact that I find Mind Seed a big guilty pleasure. I think they're very good filmmakers and they're entertaining. And by YouTube standards, they're pretty good actors, actually. I just wish they would come clean about the authenticity of their content and then just make really great YouTube movies with no illusion of it being real. They could go balls to the walls entertaining. I'm talking demons, possessed objects, being chased and hunted down. The sky's the limit if they just rebranded as an entertainment channel. But I don't see that ever actually happening. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment and let me know if there are any other ghost hunting videos you'd like me to review. Cheerio!